Hey, this is your main man, Sabado. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome. Glad you could stop by for a while. Kick your feet up. Stay a while because we're going to have a really good conversation today. But before we get into that, I do want to talk a little bit about the channel. So before I go any further, I do want to introduce myself. Um, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Sabado, and I had the opportunity to retire at 51. Um, and I know that it's not realistic for everybody to retire at 51. And I know for myself, there were a whole host of steps and things that I did to prepare myself to being able to retire at 51. And so what was, what was kind of interesting and, and kind of what led to this channel is that when I retired, outside of some of the financial acumen that I had and some of that knowledge, I just wanted to understand how to live life as a guy that that's not working. I've been working. I worked almost every day since I was 12 years old. So I was trying to figure out a way. I was trying to figure out how to, how to live my life without working. And uh, so I went on YouTube. And when I went on YouTube, I, I looked around. There's a whole bunch of videos on financial independence, on retiring early, on the fire movement, on the minimalist lifestyle. There's all these different things out there but the one thing i was looking for was you know i need somebody that i could relate to um to to talk to me on on some of these channels and i just didn't have that i didn't have people that look like me and so what what that led me to believe is that because the numbers are so low it leads me to believe two things um, number one there's uh people of color may have low retirement numbers because of something else within our society um, or number two and or number two um, there's just not a good source for retirement related information and so what I thought I would do is start a channel that is just focused on providing good information and providing good perspective um, to people because again a lot of the societal factors I can't control. I'll let you know they're out there. And I've, if you go back through my videos, you'll see that I've talked about the societal factors, the, the um, wealth, the wealth gap, uh, income inequality, um, the the motherhood uh, penalty. You know all of these things because I, I think that you don't have a strong society unless the women in your society are strong. And so we can talk about why guys don't retire all day, but at the end of the day. It's about men and women uh, being able to to retire, and men and women of all credos and, and creeds, uh, African American, Latin American, Asian, and the like. So that way, we all have an opportunity to uh, to work towards something. And so I, I didn't see a lot of diversity in those conversations. And so you know, I could sit back and complain about it. And uh, as, they, as I used to say when I was a kid, don't talk about it, be about it. So instead of doing that, my way of making sure that I contribute to the betterment of our society, if you will, is by making sure people have good retirement information that, that's down to earth. Now, some stuff, a lot of when I, when I spew out statistics, all of those statistics are from verifiable sources. So if you ever have a question, let me know. And then when I talk about other information, I'm just basically talking about my uh, my experience. Um, and I've, I'll tell you, I haven't in, in the big scheme of retirement, I haven't been retired for an incredibly long time, but I've experienced a lot. Um, there, there's just been a lot just from the range of emotions. I'm, I know some of you are aware that I'm, you know, I'm kind of going through some reflections right now. Um, just at this point in my retirement, being early in. Uh, you know, you just start looking at the world a little bit different and the world starts to react to you a little bit different. I mean, it would be great if it were just your own responses that you had to pay attention to, but it's not. It's it's the responses of the rest of the world uh, because your friends are going to look at you different. Your family's going to look at you different. People are going to address you a different way and, and so on. Um, and then the, 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 other, the other thing that, um, you know, I, I talk a little bit about is just the time. You know, and, and that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about today, um, because I, again, I, I think the, the last video that I had was really about the uh, challenges that I was having with uh, instability or that the United States or that the world is having with instability. And then my then I find out that my my uh, record wall fell. So um so here we and I, I talked about stability. So here we go with with a little more um, instability. So so today I'm just going to talk a little bit about 
you know, this week and, and how this week went. And, and I think what you'll find at the bottom of that is a little nugget of, of, uh, of hope and, and the fact that things will work themselves out. You know, when I was a kid, uh, my dad and I were having a conversation and he said to me, he says, you know, son, um, things always have a way of working themselves out. I said, okay, I, I believe that. He says, now, you don't always know how they're going to work out. And they may not always work out the way you want them to work out, but things have a way of working themselves out. And, you know, it's funny because, you know, that's absolutely true. And that's kind of how this week has gone. So um, so just just a little bit about this week that's happened. And it's still, we're, we're midweek now, so I still got more time. But it's, it's funny because I had all these plans and, you know, I think, you know, I... I, I put up content on, on Wednesdays and Saturdays and uh, and I do shorts during the rest of the week and I it's funny because I had this whole plan of how my week was going to go what I was going to do how it was going to work when I was going to golf when I was going to hang out with other friends when I was going to the driving range when I was going to record content when I was going to edit when I was going to do all of those things um, and then my record wall falls my uh, in my in my studio, so that happens. I start fixing that, working on that, and that's coming back together here. I mean, it wasn't the fall of Pompeii, but it's just something else I had to do that I didn't plan for. Well, then I figured I had this week all scheduled out, and so it was funny yesterday. Um, my wife and I, uh, I think I mentioned that we have somebody that comes in and does a deep cleaning uh, periodically on our house. So we had somebody that was coming in and do some work on the house um, yesterday. And I just got this idea. I said, you know, maybe we should try something a little bit different. And so what I did was I said, let's go drive to a town on, in another. Let's go to another state and just drive over there for the day because we're about two hours away uh, from the from the California border. And so we drove over to Nevada yesterday just for the sake of it. We got up in the morning about nine, ten o'clock. Um, rolled out. It took us about two hours. Went to the casino. And we had, had lunch, spent some time there, and then drove back. Got back home about five, and it was like a date day. I had no idea we were going to do that. I thought about it the night before, but I had no idea that that we were going to do that. Um, and then it's funny because then I think the other thing I mentioned to you before is that we'd been taking a look at um, going on a cruise, and so we were looking at May of next year. And I know that these videos should always be timeless, but this is in August. So just to give you some idea of, of how far of a departure this is for me, I wanted to make sure I gave you the date, the month that it's in today. So I'm looking at May. My wife and I were looking at online and we saw some trips, the exact same trips that we wanted to take for about $800 more. And there were two of those trips. One was at the end of this month. And the other one was sometime next month um, because, again, the cruise would be to Hawaii. And so Hawaii, the way Hawaiian cruises work is there's a season. And that usually goes from April until about September or so. And so most the the busy part of that season is from about June to September, June to August. The You have what's called the shoulder season, which basically, like shoulders, sits on the end of it. And so you have... Uh, May, April and May, then you have September and October, where it's the beginning and the end of the season, kids are in school, um, and there's not a lot going on. And so what cruise ships like to do, from what I understand, is they like to make sure that their ships are filled up. And so what they'll do is they'll give you the entire, they'll, they'll sell the, the ship, and then whatever's left over from cancellations or whatever at the end of the season, they'll sell those in these in these deals. And so we found one of those deals. And I thought about taking it and I'm still thinking about it. And I don't know if my wife, I don't, you know, I don't know if she's watching my episodes or not. I, I hope she is. Um, so if you are, I know that I'm still thinking about it, but we're thinking about taking a trip in either August or September instead of, and, and the only thing that would create a change in that um, thought process or that impacts that thought process is the fact whether or not our cat sitter can show up because, you know, we have a cat, and uh, that cat is important. He's a part of the family. And we want to make sure that he's taken care of. We, he's got to take medications. It's, Folks, I know some of you are going to have some comments about that, but it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, and so 
you know, so now we're thinking about we're thinking about taking a cruise. And so now here we are. It's, you know, today I get a phone call and that's this is all just one day of the week. And so then the next day I get a phone call from a buddy of mine says, hey, you want to go to the driving range? So then we end up going to the driving range. And this is a buddy that I golf with every week. And so when and he and I get to talking. You know, the beauty of it is, is he's about as serious as I am. And so we get to talking and we talk about subjects. Now, we we get into the mode and we start talking ish when we get into the mode. But we we're, we talk about, you know, these different subjects that that occur. And, and so the thing we were talking a little bit about today was we we're just, you know, talking about family members. And, you know, the fact that, you know, when you're successful, different people may have different impressions of what your responsibilities are and. That is difficult because you have to, um, you have to put boundaries up, and you also have people that are that are jealous of you. You know, it's it's like they say, you know, people will love you but hate you because they can't be you, and so and a lot of those people are close to you. So a lot of times it's family members, and so you know, I, I went to a uh, a few years ago, I went to a wedding, and um, it was interesting because the wedding was with uh, two guys, and I'd never been to that type of wedding before. So I'm at the wedding and I'm just listening to what people talk about because that's what I do is I listen to what people have to say so I can learn from them. And it was interesting because what you what you hear a lot about is you hear a lot about um, community. So where most of us would talk about our families, this, that, and the other, this was that conversation, what they were talking about there was community because, you know, in the gay community, um, a lot of people are shunned from their families. These are the things that I learned from having friends that are that are in that community and, and learning what they're learning. And so then you get these big met these uh, big metropolises like San Francisco, New York, Los Angeles, Atlanta that are safer for the LGBTQ uh, community. And so they'll migrate there because it's safe for them. They can get jobs and things like that. But they. Um, you know, a lot of times they do that because their family shuns them. And so then they're stuck with the, with the community. And so, you know, and I think that kind of thing happens with a lot of people. I think you, um, I think a lot of people find themselves closer with their friend groups than they are with their, with their family. And I mean, yeah, family brought you into this world and all that kind of thing. But unfortunately, human beings are human beings and not everybody has good intentions. And at the end of the day, your happiness, as much as we want to say our happiness is based on our own behaviors, if we're around people with bad intention, they can have a serious impact on our ability to find the type of happiness that we're looking for. So, um, so yeah, so we uh, so it's we we talked we got into this large conversation about the community, and I had no idea. So then, as we as we get talking, we end up going and having lunch, and we went. He he happens to own a sandwich shop in town, so we went and had a sandwich and just talked a little bit more, and he had some more things to some more things to do. You know, it's uh, it's funny because he's still in the building phase, and I'm, you know, I'm I'm in the I'm in the consuming phase because I'm because I'm retired. But you know, it's it's just it's just interesting because when I, I I talk about all these revelations that I'm having, and they're coming fast and furious, and I'm I'm having some personal revelations, um, and I'll, I'll talk to you about those in a minute. But uh, you know, just having these revelations, just understanding the world. And I, I was talking to my wife about it yesterday, and she said it's just because you have capacity. And the fact that you have the capacity and the time to think about these things, now you have the capacity and the time to think about them. I mean, these are things that everybody's going to think about at some point, but you just have the, you know, have the have the time to do it. And it's uh, so it's it's a great, um, you know, it's a great, uh, you know, it's a great place to be. It's a great place to be to to have the time to, to really do some of that reflecting. But it's it's interesting because some of that reflection creates more confusion. You know, one of the things that I've um, run into, uh, and please let me know if you feel this way because this is something that I've been really struggling with a little bit, is that when I was a kid, um, I think I, I told you a little bit about my parents, but my parents came out west to escape the Jim Crow South. So my my father was um, written up in Ebony Magazine for his work on the on the sit-ins and the civil rights movement. And my parents were, they both moved out here because they just knew that for a young black kid in, um, in, in Chattanooga, at least from their vantage point, the, 
the prospects were lower, and so they wanted to go someplace where they felt like they had a chance for a better life, just like most of the people that came out west, and it's on uh, the Dust Bowl and everything else. So it was a, it was a similar type of thing, but it's just it, what's 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 happened is that my parents always in their mind had the idea that you know you're going to go after the best, and so they made sure that I was always drilled that you know I'm not better than anybody, nobody's better than me. If you're going to do something, do it right. If you want people to take you seriously, stop telling so many jokes. You know, it's those types of things that that I learned. But the problem is, is that when you when you operate and your mind is is focused and centered that way, then you find yourself alienating yourself from a lot of other people. And not because I'm going up saying I'm smarter than you, not because I'm being a knucklehead, not because of any of that, because it's, you know, as my wife so eloquently laid out. I have a whole bunch of people that I'm that I'm friendly with and that I get along with, and I don't have any problems in social circles or any of those uh, environments. But I, I do, in my mind, sometimes feel like I'm just different than most of the people around me, and I I don't think the same. I don't hold people. I hold people to a standard that's the same standard I hold myself to, but then I find myself disappointed. And then when I get disappointed, I get upset, not at anybody else, but at myself. And so, you know, so I, I say all this to say that, you know, we all talk a little bit about trying to be our best selves or trying to be better, or trying to do something better or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but when you, when you get to the point where You've reached some financial independence and you're not relying on somebody else uh, in any way for money to come into your pocket. And when you're not worried about anyone else in any way for your well-being, except for my wife, I do. uh, But I I think my wife and I are a different story because, you know, we just love each other in like such a deep way that it's it's just different. So I'm not going to I'm not even going to put her in this conversation because for her and I, it's kind of ride or die. And that's that's where it goes. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have retired because I wouldn't have had the trust that it was going to last. I mean, I'm just just being honest with you. Um, but it's, you know, just in terms of connecting with other people. And in my, so in my mind, I, I just wonder, you know, what are what are people thinking? What are people doing? Because, you know, I would never do that. I, I can't bring myself to that. And, um, you know, but again, these are the types of revelations that I'm having in retirement. I had some of these revelations before I retired, but I'll give you an example. I used to golf with a group of guys on Sundays, and there was a point in time where it just, there were too many people that were being invited, and not everybody was as, um, not everybody paid as much attention to detail as, as I did. I just say that. So people would show up late, people would play you know, little side games different. Um, people would cancel at the last minute. One time I had a tournament and I had paid $700 for everybody to play. And then at the last minute, two guys were like, I can't make it. You know, it's just stuff like that. That, And so I was getting frustrated. I'll be honest with you. I was, I was getting incredibly frustrated. Uh, but uh, the only time I had to play golf was on Sunday. And the only people I knew that played golf on Sunday were these guys. And so what I would do is I'd play with them. And every week I would come home frustrated about something because there'd be something else. And I knew that I was frustrated. I knew I was frustrated when I golfed with them. But I didn't quite understand why I was so frustrated by them. And then once I retired, I figured it out. And it's because there's a difference between spending time with people and having spending that time because you have that gap to spend time with them than spending time with people because you really enjoy spending time with them. Like if you like somebody and you just want to hang with them, then go hang with them. That's that's kind of what life is about. That's the spice of life. But if you don't if you're not really on the same frequency as somebody but you're hanging with them on a regular basis, then what happens is even when you don't want to hang with them, you're still obligated. So then you get frustrated because you're caught into an obligation of hanging with them. So I try to uh, I, I tried that for a couple of years, and then when I retired, I realized, you know, I'm not going to golf with these cats anymore because they were just incredibly frustrating, and I haven't golfed with them since. I don't think I've talked to them. I think I saw one on the street and sent them a message and said, hey, I saw you, but nothing of any, of any 
you know, real substance. And so, you know, so you get, so the, so the, the, the vibes that you get or the, the, the stuff that you get is, is pretty, it's pretty significant. Um, you know, there haven't been any challenges with my wife and, you know, we're still the same. We've always been the same. We'll always be the same. And people that know us tell us, you guys are just so chill. And it's like, yeah, because we both lived lives in the past that had a little bit more chaos. And so now we wanted to make sure that they were, that they were chill. So, but, uh, yeah. So then I ended up with him, with, with my buddy and we ended up having a nice lunch and, and we ended up talking and, you know, I enjoy spending time with them and I'm going to, I'm golfing with them tomorrow. So, uh, so yeah. So I, you know, it's just, I, I thought I would just take some time just to share some, you know, some more of kind of the, the inner revelations that I'm having. I think Stevie Wonder talked about, uh, had an album called Inner Visions and he talked about some, some stuff. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately I'm not as talented of a musician. Um, I like to think I'm a, I'm a incredibly talented orator, but I don't know unless somebody says something in the comments. And if you don't, I'm okay with that. Um, but you know, the idea is just number one, helping people get access to the information. Number two, um, making it, making sure that you understand that, you know, the stuff that you're feeling, um, is no different than the stuff the rest of us feel, you know, the, the difference between me and a lot of other people, a lot of you is that I just took the step. I, all I did is I just said, you know what? I'm just, I'm just, this is what I'm going to do. And it took a lot of thinking, took a lot of work, but I said, this is, this is what I'm going to do. And I did it. And I've always been that way. And I will always be that way. Not without a lot of detailed thinking behind it, but I'm, I'm just going to do what I got to do. And so, you know, so again, I thought I would share uh, that revelation with you because I think, you know, I, I was, I've been reviewing and kind of reflecting on the content that I've been putting on the channel. And there's a lot of really meaty and rich um, topic-related content uh, that's on the channel. But, you know, the world isn't all densely uh, uh, dense material. The world is about, hey, I don't, I'm not feeling like I fit in in my social circles. Hey, I got this time and there's nobody around. Hey, I got to figure out a new way of doing this, that, and the other. Hey, is it me or is it someone else? At least those are the types of things that I think about. At least I admit that to myself and I admit that to to you here on the channel. So, um, so yeah, so that's that's really all I all I had for today. Um, you know, if there's things that are on your mind, uh, let me know. Let me know what you're thinking because I would like to talk about some of some of what's going on with you again I, I like to say this channel isn't a channel for me it's a channel for you and I, I think what's what's what I've noticed is that um, of the 50,000 views that I've gotten I've gotten uh, I'm at to, I'm up to about 290 uh, subscribers and so there's there's plenty of room on the subscriber bus for you and I try to keep all the information that I give you just like this just conversational to the point uh, let you know kind of what's on my mind and, uh, you know, hopefully you subscribe, you know, if you, if you like it, subscribe and you'll get content as I put it up there, you'll get quite a bit because I do have a bunch of shorts coming up. And in fact, as soon as I'm done here, I think I'm going to, um, schedule, some, I'm going to upload some more shorts. Um, so that way you have some content and I, I get this one up as well. So, um, you know, so again, if you if you feel so inclined, please subscribe, and you know it helps us get the information out to you. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to uh, work on my um, music wall or in my studio because I'm still a little bit hurt there because you can see my background has changed a little bit, and um, I don't mind the background, but it takes away from my dining room, and I know my wife really loves the dining room, so I want to give that back to her so I'm gonna be working on that and then it gives me my energy back because then I'm back in my in my stage but you know this seems to work okay in the meantime let me know what you think but anyway that's about all I had for the day um you know please uh you know let me know let me know kind of what's on your mind let me know what's happening with you let me know if there's any questions that I can have answered for you and you know otherwise we will uh, catch up soon uh have a good rest of your day and we will talk soon